today, things moving quickly with Doerman showing up in court in Batavia for his arraignment. That's where WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is right now. He was in the courtroom as it happened. And for those at home, if you have not heard these details yet, they can be jarring to hear. Brian Hamrick, take us through what happened for that arraignment for Chad Doerman today. Well, Stephen, prosecutors describe this crime, crime as monstrous, evil, unspeakable. But how do you describe a crime where the father is accused as the gunman who shot his three children execution style and the mother's forced to watch? Chad Dorman appeared in court today. He was wearing a bulletproof vest. He was flanked by about a half dozen deputies. Prosecutors say he lined up his three young boys, ages three, four, and seven and shot them execution style. According to prosecutor's account, one boy took off, but Dorman caught him, dragged him back to the property, and he too was shot to death. Prosecutors say two of the children were shot in the house, but we do know somehow all three bodies ended up in the front yard. At some point, the mother tried to grab the gun to protect the kids. She was shot, but remained alive and was forced to watch the murders. The mother was shot through the hand in her attempt to protect her children. Judge, I asked the court in setting this bond to just begin to imagine their fear. This was the man that every day they woke up looking to for protection, love, guidance in all things. The man they trust more than any other person on earth person they rely upon to keep them safe from harm. He was their world, he was their guardian, and he executed them in cold blood. We know that from his admission. By that same admission, Judge, he has committed <clears throat> one of the most monstrous, craven, cowardly acts that will ever be our misfortune to see. To make things even more disturbing, Judge, this was no haphazard act again. By his own admission, he planned the events of this day. Yeah, the defense asked for a $75,000 bond, citing reasons. They said he's employed, has a co-signer, and then an odd reason, they said that he's married. Although the person it appears he's married to is the mother of these children, who was also the victim in this crime. Again, prosecutors asked for a $20 million bond, and Judge J.C. Nagel granted that. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Yeah, so chilling to hear in court what happened, that he planned it and admitting to doing everything that was coming out in court there, Brian. Now, did this affect have a big effect on the families and even the uh, first responders? Did any of that come up in the discussion for bond? Yeah, prosecutors talked about that, Stephen, today. They said not only the families, the entire community, and these first responders, they talked about that for a minute when they were talking about bond and the widespread effect of this crime. They said, here were these first responders. The medics are there. They are giving CPR to these children with gunshots. He says they have them in their arms, and they know that there's nothing they can do to help them. They said it was devastating for everyone there, and it's going to have long-lasting effects on everyone involved, Stephen. Brian Hamrick reporting live for us from Batavia at the courthouse and that arraignment. You have to feel for those first responders doing everything they can for those boys. And let's talk.